Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have great news about Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is working on some new data types. So they gave us the stock data type and they gave us the geography data type. Whenever I did the geography data type, which will find countries, states, cities, but somebody always says, well, will it do zip codes? The answer is no, the geography data type will not. But with the new data types that are coming out, and at some point there'll be a hundred of them, zip codes are going to be included. So I'm going to look at the zip code data type today. And in case you're wondering, I will put a link to this Microsoft support article down in the description. Here are the new data types that are currently coming out. The stocks and geography have been out. Organization, locations, but their zip codes. They even have food. I played with this one this morning. I put in Excel that I had an apple, that I had yogurt, that I had um, whatever other food type you want. It will go and tell you the calories, calories from fat, carbohydrates, sugars, all that information. Really cool feature. But today let's take a look at the zip codes. So I've already typed in zip code and put in these zip codes. Make sure you put in the zip codes as text right here, because if you don't, that 02113, you'll lose the zero. You don't have to do this, but I recommend you make it a table first. So control T, click OK. My table does have a header row. Here are my zip codes. I'm going to highlight them. Data tab, I don't want to do geography, it won't work, but there is the zip code. It does say preview data types. So these are the preview mode for me. It's going to convert them to zips. You do need, obviously, an internet connection. Let's see if it works. I should get a special icon by each one of those, and I do. That is the zip code icon. Now, what columns or fields do you want to see? So it says add column. I would like to know what city those zip codes are for. Perfect. Add another column. What else do you want to know? Average house value. I'm just pointing out some items that are in here that are really cool. I would like to know, here we go. Households with income 0 to 25K, 25 to 50. Let's take a look at 50 to 100. They're the number of households. What else do you want to know? Interesting, they'll tell you the female population. Let's see if they got the male population in there. Latitude, longitude, by the way. I'm just pointing that out, but there's male population. And then I'm going to do the median household income and we'll be good. I could sit here doing this all day because this is kind of fun. This is great stuff. Median household income. There you go. That is the zip code data type. In case you're wondering, when I did this, I said, let's do control T to make this a table. If I didn't make it a table, I would still get all the information right here, but I would not get the header rows in B1 through F1. That is why I want you to make this a table. I'm going to keep this short. So that is the zip code data type. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, feel free, if you want to, to go and subscribe to my newsletter that comes out. Just go to my website right here, first name and email. I don't need anything else from you. And I send out a monthly newsletter about what's going on with Microsoft Office, what's going on with video conferencing. I do a lot of stuff in Microsoft Teams. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below.